Michael, um, no, let's just talk the elephant in the room. The 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 rivalry between Michael Granville and William O.B. Moore. If mm -hmm. if you if you don't know, you're like, oh, whatever. But if you knew, this was like Ali Frazier. Uh mm -hmm. I remember at Arcadia every year. And it was always, and that's why I would say it was you said it earlier, you got so as a youth, you guys both ran the four and the eight. As you got yeah. to high school, Obi became more of a you know quarter miler, two hundred meter yeah. runner. He, I knew Coach James very well. Obi used eight hundred as a training base. He'd yeah. always run the eight hundred and indoors up to Arcadia, and then you mm -hmm. know he tried to drop it and then run the four and two. And right. Every year you guys would meet at Arcadia in the eight hundred, yeah. and I'm going to tell you this: at Arcadia, the most of the races that the fans get up for, like the four by one, the hundred. But man, yeah. when you and Obi would get on the track at the 800 meters Arcadia, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, and I uh, think his freshman year, you know, he he was, but I think it was a 149.14, and you ran. I don't know if it was 148 or 147, but oh, that was it. Yeah, that was yeah, that was his. So my let's talk about let's talk about you guys. You know, just uh, that and I guess your age group rivalry. Yeah. So we yeah. So we had the age group rivalry. I mean, Obi is was a name that was said around our house. You know, it, it was definitely like he was like a family member. Some of my, my siblings would say, like, when they got a chance to get a chance to meet him or see him, it's like they felt like they knew him because his name was said around our house so often. I mean, uh, as, as an adult, you know, you know, and when Google was starting to get popular in my mind and just kind of kind of self-glorifying to see what Google says about me and I'll, I'll type in my name. And the thing is, it's like, well, you might also know Obi. Whenever I put my name in, even Google <laughs> knows. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Also, people look up Obi, so that just goes to show like how synonymous our names were growing up in track and field in the '90s. <clears throat> I already told you about how we, um, how I first met him on that second turn in the 400 meters in Spokane, and then uh, so we kind of had, and it was one. The rivalry started there because I thought I won the race. My dad thought we won the race. They actually disqualified me. I felt like the powers of be were so shocked that nobody, somebody got so close to Obi, and this is my conspiracy theory. And they were like, "Okay, let's disqualify." And it's like he uh, ran on the turn on the line three steps, and we my we all was looking at the race. I didn't even have it on tape. It was like, no, there was no way he was on on there. It was like, okay, just take second place and shut up. I took second place and shut up. <laughs> and like, can we get our twenty five dollars back for uh, protest? No, we keeping that. Okay, cool. I take second place. But uh, that that kind of started the rock, and then. Uh, um, this is this is so fun at at Nebraska. So it was at this point they knew that I heard about that Junior Olympics, right? Nebraska, the Junior Olympics in in, in Nebraska, nineteen ninety, and uh, and it was uh, Ob with LA Jets, and it was me with West Valley Eagles, and our and our team was comprised in trying to figure out where what leg Ob was going to be on, and then I needed to be on the leg after him to kind of make up the lead that he would he would establish. And so as we're going up to the, you know, the uh, to uh, off the warm up field to the track, they start lining everybody up in their lines, and they kept moving people, were moving Obi around. So every time they move Obi, they're kind of okay. He's oh he's anchor. okay, and if he was an anchor, I would have to be anchor too. So we we're moving around, and I'm hearing I'm hearing accents I've never heard for the first time coming <laughs> from East Los Angeles. I'm hearing people from Florida, <laughs> New York, and I'm just, there's a lot of just things going on. So you, know, you don't have time to get nervous and just trying to figure out. Okay, where am I at? Where's Obi going to be? So he ends up going on second leg, and then they put me on third leg. And uh, that day is when I pretty much felt like I earned a scholarship to any college I wanted to go to as a 12-year-old. Uh, Obi had put out a lead like he like he does, and uh, I'm pretty sure the guy was 80 meters ahead of me. So it felt it looks like it. It could have been, but he was definitely out there. And the only thing I had on my mind was was that competitive nature, that dog in me. And I was like, I can do this. I can catch him. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to let my teammates down, and, and I actually wanted to see if I can show that I'm just as fast as Obi. If he can put a lead on him, I can catch it. And I get out, I get that baton, and I snatch it out of my uh, Jalal's hands and my teammate, and I ran maybe the first 10, 20 meters in the second lane. <laughs> it's just like he was running. It's like, oh, let me get in the first lane. And mind you, this is pretty much my first year of track, yeah. you know, really at this level. And I, uh, make it, to make a long story short, I caught the guy. I mean, I, I went, caught him, passed him a little bit just at the end and passed the baton to Amon, Lashard, and Amon ran a tactical last 400 meters. Uh, he let the guy get in front of him, and he came back and, and won. And so that was, like, pretty much the start of our kind of arrival with, with him. And, you know, 
the way it would go, I would be, uh, since I was the top of the midget group, so I, we didn't compete against each other the f- next year in 1991. And then, so in 1992, my eighth grade year, I was 14, he was 13, and here he comes Obi. And Obi, you know, he did a lot. He broke out every record he could, at, you know, at the midget age, I think, that, at that point. So he was up to youth. So Obi's back in our mind again. And so I would run... And there's also another guy named Jason Johnson. That was another guy that was from Louisiana that was on my radar to beat. And I, at this point, I feel a little confident of racing against Obi. And we raced, we raced the 800, raced the 400, and I, I won that year. You know, I won that year. I won Junior Olympics in the four and the eight. And I think in both relays as well. 